Hello everybody, welcome to a new video, and in this video we're going to be working in Roblox Studio on Time Traveler's Quest, me and my friend's game <clears throat> about time traveling in different time periods. So, let's get right into it. So, first I think what we're going to do is we're just going to think here. We might need a better path, and we need to make the next map. So, once we make the next map, we'll be able to make time travel time machine v3 because this is v2 as you can see right here if you want to see v1 it is way over here i'll just or not oh yeah i gotta select all right <clears throat> so time machine v1 is very bad just to test out our um so this is the shop we don't have anything for sale yet we're still working on that but when we do we'll be sure to you know when we get a working shop we'll have you be able to get weapons and other items that will help you in your journey of stealing items from different eras of time so this is going to be the tutorial era 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 of just like monkeys and things like that so here i'll move this pad up here and i'll make you be able to climb a tree Let's move this out a little bit. And then we're going to change the transparency up to 0.95. Oh, you can barely see that. Let's make it 0.5 so you could see it. <clears throat> and then let's make a part. Why are you way over there? Part, part right here. Scale it up. Size. That. Make it a little thinner. Anchor it. Move it over here. Surface GY. Text label. Let's make this correctly sized. Let's make this 400. Now we need like 580 maybe. Too big, way too big. Let's do 550. Yeah, still too big. Let's do 510. Slightly too big. Let's do 500. Close enough. I don't know if it's perfect or not. Let's try 200. No, I need like 350. There we go. Alright, so I'm just gonna say go here. Yeah. Yeah. To the And this worst text size right here. Let's use a different font. See what fonts do you have to choose from? Use this one. Let's make this text significantly bigger. And I train it. Transparency one and login of objects. I 
and then make sure everything here is anchored okay so that brings you to the next area which <clears throat> is time machine v2 looks a lot better um let's add some trees in here I'm gonna <clears throat> add some trees in V1 too. Alright. Let's use these pine trees. And a few. Put them around. I'll make sure everything in here is anchored. Let's make sure our entire map is anchored. Everything is now anchored. So, <clears throat> give you a good test of the game to show you how it works. But the thing is, we have to steal things from the time er era, like time, and you need to bring them back, and you sell them for coins. And you're gonna want to get different weapons to help you fight along the way. So this is what you do: you walk in the time machine, you fall in here, and you're like, "What do I do?" So you see this monkey over here? So you go towards it, and what I want to do is you could slip on the bananas, so, so that's pretty cool. And, oh, I, 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 um, okay. Uh, but you could talk to a monkey. This was a free model. For you, monkey, goodbye. So, so now that you gotta look around, find the exit also. You're gonna need to find some of the items because if you don't find them <clears throat> and we go into somewhere where you have to fight, then you can't fight and you kinda lose. So, yeah. So, get here to the next area. And we're in Time Machine V2, which doesn't work right now. And we're back to a normal shop. I think I'm gonna customize the shop V2. To make it look a little bit better. That's V1. Alright, so. Alright. <clears throat> so, there we go. So, the time machine. Alright, let's upgrade the shop a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna make this like a counter so I control D it. Scale it up. a little bit um let's make it dark like uh, now they start glitching out I gotta find which one that one is and then scale it down oh I lost it there it is yeah. Scale it down. Just like that. 
Now I'll put slightly more upgraded, but I want to do some other things. Maybe a window. Fake window with this. Alright. Not move that. Alright. Have a window over here. I don't like the window sill right now. This little thing. <clears throat> I think it's a little buggy. Um, put one more. <clears throat> there we go. Alright, now the shop's looking a lot better. Um, so, need some trees. Let's do some realistic trees here instead. At least they're grouped together. For you. Tree. Got a few trees up in here. I'm going to rescale the trees and move them. There we go. Alright, <clears throat> so... Next, what we're going to do is 1666 London Fire. So that's going to be a little hard to do. I don't think we're going to cover that in this video. But right now, we'll do something like this. Go material generator. So, uh, See what it comes up with because <clears throat> we're going to apply the stone path to this path right here. Um, which one do I like? Hmm. Shift click all the parts. Hmm, that doesn't look too good. I'll try this one. Hmm. Oh. I'll just add the <clears throat> material itself. Cobblestone. It'll be good enough for now. I have an idea. <clears throat> Let's make a new part cylinder. <clears throat> Scale it up. No, not like that. Let's make out a 25 by 25. <clears throat> Let's make it a little taller. Uh, <clears throat> let's do... Car mesh. Let's do old car mesh. Hmm. I don't like the damaged cars. I'll just look up car. Old car. I gotta delete the scripts. 